Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope this lighting is alright. Um, I just got a Lumi phone case so I can film whenever and hopefully the lighting is decent. Um, but today I wanted to make a video on WWE's upcoming pay-per-view, which is this Sunday, which is Evolution. I am so excited. Oh my god. Okay, so I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the pay-per-view. Some of my thoughts, some of my, what's the word, um, critiques, I don't know if that's the word, but critiques on the pay-per-view itself, and we're just going to talk about it because I just thought that'd be really fun. First off, I want to talk about why this pay-per-view is so special. So if you guys know me or you've like followed me on Twitter or talked to me before about wrestling or even just, I don't know. If you just know anything about me, um, you might know that I have been watching wrestling since I was about seven years old. I used to um, be put to bed by one of my parents and then I would sneak down the stairs while my dad was asleep and watch like The Undertaker and um, Kane and The Boogeyman and like stuff like that. To me, this is like, wrestling has been something I've watched since I was a baby. Um, and when I used to watch wrestling when I was younger, the divas really weren't, they weren't represented correctly. How do I say this? I don't know how to say this correctly. Basically what I'm saying is the women always deserved better in the divas division. When I say this, I mean their matches were like two minutes long. The whole point for them having women out there back then was to show off their bodies, which if you're proud of your body, absolutely go for it. The only thing, it was like, show off your bodies, wear bikinis, and just like, be something to look at. And it would also be the bathroom break for a lot of people. But ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a wrestler. I still do. I don't know if that's ever going to happen, but I still do want, I would love to wrestle. So when I was younger, all I wanted was to be like Lita. And if you guys, you guys probably know Lita. You have to know Lita. What do you mean? She is an absolute badass, like the badass of my childhood. And like when everyone else would go home and like watch Barbie movies and watch like Bratz movies and all that stuff, I would go home and watch wrestling and I would watch Lita and I would watch Trish and I would watch Michelle McCool. And like, that's what I grew up with. And so when the women were thought of as divas, they were never given like big matches. They were never given like, they were never taken seriously. And now going from watching the divas have one match a night for three minutes to three or four matches a night with two different championships with a full pay-per-view focused on women is incredible. Like they've had um, they're going to have the last, the first last woman standing match ever. Because that used to be just a men's match. They've had the women's Hell in a Cell, Royal Rumbles. They've had so much stuff with these women that I had always dreamed of seeing. I always dreamed of seeing these women really shine and show what they have. And show that they can do this just as well, even better than some of the men. And... It's the most amazing thing to watch your dream for someone else come true. And I'm so proud of these women and I think they deserve the world. They're finally getting their chance to show everyone that they are just as amazing. They can pull off just as an incredible show. They are just as talented, just as like... They can cut amazing promos, they can have awesome storylines, they can really, they can do whatever the fuck they want, and they can do it just as well as men can. And that is like the best thing in the entire world. Um, something I also wanted to mention, speaking of critiques, I don't know if you guys want me to go off right now because I'm so close to going off. It was supposed to be, this is the match I was looking forward to the most, okay? It's going to be Lita, Trish Stratus versus Mickey James, who I love, and Alexa Bliss, who I also love. And, um, you know, WWE was like, you know what's a great idea? Let's just put Alexa Bliss in the ring with Ronda Rousey after Ronda injured her 
a couple weeks ago. And want to know what happened? Rhonda injured her again. And so now, instead of having Alexa, we have Alicia, which I don't, I like Alicia, but this was, this was Alexa's dream match. This was her dream match since she was little. That's like me having a match against Lita and then someone injuring me two days before the match. Like, that's not, I don't, I don't know. And I'm not telling you right now, I'm not telling you that I don't like Rhonda. I'm not telling you that at all. I personally am not a fan of her as a person outside of the ring. That's just me. You can have your own opinions on that. That's totally fine. I also think she's overhyped. I sound like Nikki Bella. <laughs> but when I say overhyped, I don't mean like, oh, like everyone's talking about her like she's not that good. That's not what I'm talking about. What I'm saying is the baddest woman on the planet and all this stuff. I'm like... You said she was the baddest woman on the planet before she even had a match. She had like one match and then suddenly she had a title opportunity. Like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, no. Where's Liv Morgan's title opportunity? Sonya Deville's. Mandy Rose. Sarah Logan. Ruby Riot. Where, where are their chances? Sasha should have another chance. 100%. Also, so, oh my god, I'm really, I'm really gonna go off. Can we talk about this battle fucking, mm -hmm. can we talk about this match that they were just like, you know what, I don't know what to do for evolution, so you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna throw everyone into a match. Really? Is that the fucking best you could do? Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe. If you didn't focus so much on like crown jewel, whatever the fuck that is, I don't, I don't know her. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know what that is. If you didn't focus so much on crown jewel and you focused on the pay per view that was coming up first, you would have had so many storylines you could have made. You could have made like Michelle McCool and Sasha. You could have done something like that, or you could have done something like, I don't know. Bailey. Bailey deserves a title opportunity. Bailey. I freaking love Bailey. You could do Bailey versus Sasha. You started a feud and then you just got, you just like ditched it. You were like, LOL. No, you guys can be BFFs again. Like, as much as the women's division has improved, I feel like a lot of the writing has not. And that's annoying. <laughs> that's really freaking annoying. Because like, could you imagine ma the matches that they could have come up with? Like, they could have like had... They could have had like AJ. I I know I know this is like a real long shot. AJ Lee. They could have like AJ Lee versus Sasha. I would have loved loved that. Honestly, bring up people from NXT or like you know my dream match. If I could pick a match out of literally any any women's match right now, my match would be Ronda Rousey versus Sonya Deville. That is my dream match, and I would like that to happen some point. Like, I'd love that. I'd also love Sasha versus Trish. That would be incredible. But, you know, let's just throw everyone, just, just throw everyone into one match and have, like, three other matches. This pay-per-view is supposed to be four fucking hours long. How the fuck are you going to do that? How the fuck is that going to work? Like, are you going to promote Crown Jewel, like, in between the little matches? Like, I, I'm really trying to be positive. I started this on a very positive note. I really did because I'm so happy that this is finally happening and that the women are really getting what they deserve. But, like, are you fucking kidding? <laughs> like, when I saw that, I was like, are you kidding me? And even the freaking women were tweeting, like, shade, like, so much shade towards... WWE. It was hysterical. I was like, okay, me. Like, what the fuck? Um, Becky. Becky is my girl. I love her. She deserves everything that she's getting right now. Everything. I love Becky. I love Carmella. Carmella is incredible. I love Carmella. I love, you know, I would love to see like Carmella versus Carmella versus Kelly Kelly. I would like to see that. That would be a good match. Or, or Layla versus like Bailey. Like, there are so many, like, old versus new that you could do. 
Like, you could have made this so good, and you guys just let it fucking flop in front of your face. Like, like you had it. You had it in your hands, and you were like, Crown Jewel? Only men can compete? Oh, yeah. We're going to do this great women's evolution. WWE evolution. Women's only pay-per-view. Oh, yeah. And then in a couple days, we're going to have a men's only pay-per-view. That's a fucking slap in the face. Like, does no one else get, like, pissed about that? Like, am I the only one? Because I'm really mad. Like, how can you be like, women, 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 and then be like, oh, well, we're going to Saudi Arabia and you can't come. Like, I, I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, I'm done ranting. Please let me know what you think down below because I would love to talk about it with you guys. I'm talking about it all the time on Twitter. Anyway, so my Twitter is long live reigns. Which, oh my god, I can make a whole video about Roman because I was at Raw last week when he gave his announcement. So help me. I don't know how I'm still here right now because that was the most upsetting thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Still not over it. I'm also going to leave a link down below for, I'm in a group chat on Twitter. And someone made these bracelets that support um, leukemia research. Those will be down below. I purchased a couple. They should be coming soon. So, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know. Definitely watch Evolution 100%. Support Evolution. I don't know what Crown Jewel is. Don't support that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Bye.